Because some people look at pitchers and they're inspired by them. And then they're inspired by them so much that they're like, well, why don't I have it? And then they compare their life and that's where it goes wrong. Yeah. Right. So how, how were you able to keep those so separate and how have you been able to do it over the years? Well, you have to be on a, on a mission, obviously to, to see, um, what you're on this earth for, I mean, why you're here. Uh, so part of that is what, you can try to compare yourself to others and do what they do. But at the end of the day, that they may be across the pond or across the, another island somewhere or another country. Um, so it's hard to compare somebody right to your face. Uh, and I, I think people need to just kind of have some quiet time and, and compare themselves to, to God and realize we're, we're just little tiny ants next to him. So it humbles you, but also makes you realize, okay, dial it back. Uh, it's not about me. It's about, you know, what I can do to help others. I mean, God put us all here and we can either fight and struggle and be mean to each other, or we can love one another. Uh, and then when you do that, you quit comparing and then you become more serving uh, and helping and it kind of it, it just, again, it, comparison, you become very selfish and you start, I want to be like this. I'm going to do this. I don't want to copy this. I don't want to be like that. But if you let go of trying to be, you know, I'm not as good as so-and-so or I can't do this or I can't be like so-and-so or I, I didn't make, you know, as much money as this, as my coworker made or as my you know, friend down the street made, uh, it just help, helps you slow down a little bit just to realize you're here for a purpose and you got to figure out what that purpose is. 